Welcome to Appomattox Regional Governor's School in Petersburg, Virginia. Tonight we are presenting the second of our three parts of our spring showcase with our music ensembles. This evening features our advanced treble ensemble, Belvoir, and our jazz band, which has um, jazz combo, rock and country band, and rock and funk band. So we'll be presenting a variety of styles of music this evening. We open the concert with the Belvoir Ensemble, and the first piece means a lot to our young ladies. We were rehearsing this in Zoom before we resumed hybrid instruction, and the words really struck us. We are all caged birds in our Zoom rooms, and we couldn't hear one another, and we're learning this piece you know, in separate bits. So I'd like to read a little bit of the text for you. Our composer is Miriam Curie who was born in Mesa, Arizona, but her father had immigrated to the United States from Palestine. And Kua in Arabic means strength. And as a child, Kuri's father told her stories about the difficulties he experienced growing up in Palestine. Kua is about how different her life would have been if her father had not moved to the United States. Here are a few of the words that caught our eye and our ear. I have a caged bird who longs to fly away. Her name is Kua. I have a caged bird who is weeping, and I dare not set her free. Her song I am keeping. But soon this dove will die if she does not get the chance to fly, and so on. And this really caught our minds and our hearts as we were rehearsing in Zoom rooms during COVID. Um, and now tonight we are all strong and here together, and we're very, very pleased and joyous to bring this song to you. Our second piece is Ave Maris Stella, Hail Star of the Sea, a Latin hymn. And it is set by uh, living composer Tom Kufari, who's a piano uh, um, performer and choral conductor and composer. The accompaniment is from the 19th century by Robert Schumann, and he marries his arrangement and melody very beautifully with that accompaniment. Our third piece isn't a vocal piece at all. It is a tango an instrumental tango that features violin and features accordion and a whole orchestra and piano, of course. So we'll be singing Liber Tango. This is our Tango of Freedom, um, written by Astor Piazzolla and arranged by Escalada. We'll be using our voices to make instrumental sounds in this piece. Thank you, and here I now present Belvoir.
Welcome back. My name is Larry Cauley. I'm one of the music teachers here at Appomattox Regional Governor's School. You know, I'm standing here, um, and I wish you could see it. Uh, we're in our 100-year-old auditorium, and we have um, older adults who came to age uh, before the internet was a big thing, and young people who were born after 2005, and they've turned this 100-year-old stage into a TV studio, pretty much with their own equipment and no budget. It's pretty amazing. And that's just one of the things that has been amazing about this past year. Um, you know, this group, the jazz band, we haven't played together in a long time. In fact, I had short hair last time we did a concert. Um, you can check out the video. So that's how long it's been since we've played together. Uh, and I'm amazed about how we've been able to come together and put together a, a, a really good performance for you, uh, a magical performance. Usually we practice and meet about 100 times a year, and I think we've met maybe five, uh, if that. And we have a nice uh, little presentation for you. But I want to thank everybody from Miss um, Warren and her staff to Mr. Humphreys, Mrs. Um, Storty, and, and everyone who's put together this program and learned how to broadcast things live on YouTube and work all the cameras. It's pretty amazing, so thank you very much. All right, so without further ado, I'll get on with it, and here is our jazz band. first song is going to be Bye Bye Blackbird, originally composed by Ray Henderson. Um, we were originally going to do a Nancy Harms version, but once we got in person, we realized we get to do the original. So enjoy. Thank you. 
Our next song is Blue Skies, and we're doing it in the style of Ella Fitzgerald.
All righty. Uh, this next song is an Irish folk classic, and while we had a little bit of trouble figuring out the lyrics for this one, uh, we ultimately decided to cut some of the less appropriate verses and cut them down from a six to three. So without further ado, here's an Irish shanty, Irish rover. Next, we are going to do a country song called Lord Have Mercy on a Country Boy. It was originally released in 1991 by Don Williams, but we are doing Josh Turner's interpretation. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.
river. They dammed the stream. They cut down the cypress and the sweet gum trees. There's a laundromat and a barber shop. And now the home meadow is a parking lot. Hi. Um, our second song with the folk band is Seven Bridges Road, written by Steve Young in the 60s, but made popu popular by the Eagles a couple decades after that. Nearly our, nearly our entire band sings on this one. So enjoy.
Thanks, folk band. That was amazing. Next up, we have Funk and Rock Band. The first song I want to do is Go Your Own Way by Fleetwood Mac, released in 1977. Enjoy.
the compliment? Our next song is Uptown Funk by Mark Ronson featuring Bruno Mars. This song is heavily inspired by the funk, pop, and disco style of the 1970s and 80s, hence it being the perfect, ex perfect example of the funk style while incorporating the modern pop music style of today. Enjoy!
All right. Hello, everyone. Thank you for watching our performance. My name is Mr. Humphreys. If you can't tell, I am pretty tired. Um, these performances have honestly taken a ton of work, probably more than most any that we have put together here so far. Um, the Miasm, what is it, spring of 2020, well, was a good chunk of work. Um, so I'd like to say thank you to the other music faculty, uh, Ms. Story and Mr. Cauley, of course, uh, Ms. Warren for her assistance, and uh, also her uh, two kids helpers that are helping us tonight. Um, for everybody for letting us use the space, of course, Ms. Napier. Thank you especially to Avery for running the console, Ethan on stream, Mason and Emma on cameras. Uh, I think this has all been actually working out pretty well. Um, I know there have been some, uh, I guess to use our folk country band term, some uh, hitches in our giddy up, um, but we've been uh, putting it together all pretty, pretty solidly once we get it to work. Um, so what you've seen is what we have tried to prepare in jazz band. Um, preparing for this stuff ahead of time has been something. Um, Y'all, how many rehearsals have we had? Four. Um, how many rehearsals have we had with everyone that is at the performance attending? Yeah. Zero. This is the first day that everyone performing has seen each other since uh, March of 2020, most likely. Um, so all things considered, I think it's worked out pretty well. But here's the issue, is we've kind of been improvising some of this stuff. And we love to improvise things, right? That's what the jazz yeah. class is all about. Yeah. So let's make something up. Yeah. Um, I don't know, just a little, little, little shorty five minute free jazz segment I think would be fantastic. This was uh, actually a big hit on our Miyazum. Um, keep it kind of tame, keep it kind of short. And I think this, this should be a good time. I think you guys will really enjoy seeing them spontaneously work together. It's, it's been a hot minute, but I think it will go pretty well. All right? Thank you, everyone.
Thank you for joining us this evening. It's been a pleasure to produce this concert tonight. It's so wonderful to hear well, and see all our students together after so many months. I keep saying the best music I've heard is their laughter in the classroom while we're eating dinner and getting to catch up with each other after a year of being at home. So thank you so much for joining in this special occasion. It's really a victory concert in many ways. We leave you tonight with a traditional song from Scotland. It dates back to 1600. And our Belvoir will sing it. This is called The Parting Glass. And this is a, a song that is often sung as we part from friends, sometimes at the end of a wonderful evening, and sometimes at the end of a very long friendship or a long life. The Parting Glass. <laughs> 